What's up, YouTube? We're back. It's your boy, Mad Stacker. And we're here for another Saturday morning premiere party. Hey, guys. Welcome back. That's right. Saturday morning premiere train. We've got... Uh, a little bit of a mix-up. You're wondering why is Mad Stacker not at the end of the train? Well, here's why. Because Pistol Pack and Pilot needed the spot. I tell all the guys on the train, if you've got a longer than 15-minute video, that you're more than welcome to go in the last spot. That way there's nobody to jump to at the end. And that is the case for Pistol Pack and Pilot this week. Also, shout-out to Patriot Stacker for subbing in uh, for our good friend, Big Red Bullion. Everybody, please... Join me in keeping Big Red in your prayers. Uh, just pray for his health and his well-being. Pray for his family. And just uh, ask that he get back to full full health. So, uh, Big Red, we love you, brother. We're praying for you. And I uh, hope to see you uh, recover soon. So, a couple things for me to go over. And then I'm going to open a little something from one of our awesome train people, Wild West Stacker. But to start, I have to show you my latest and greatest um, coin roll hunt. I had one box. It was a Loomis box that I got from Regions Bank. And I got two 2020 NIFCs that I kept. And then I got six 40 percenters. One of those 40 percenters being a Bicentennial. Almost looks like it would be a 90 percenter, but these are 40 percent uh, silver pieces. Uh, this is the only other 40 percenter outside of the 65 through 70s. And they also did, uh, I believe there's a quarter that falls in with this set that this came in, that there's a 40 percent quarter out there as well. So I've only found three of those silver bicentennials in all the boxes I've checked, but... These six uh, 40 percenters, which is almost a full ounce of silver, that'll be going in my stack. And you know, once it goes in my stack, it never goes back. Now, next up, I've got six 2005 Norfeds. These were one, uh, five were one in a game insane from Everyday Cop Opportunity. The other one was one in a single race. I, uh, as long as he had them, I was taking them because these are hard to come by. And do hold some value. For those of you that aren't aware of this story, I highly recommend you just Google the word Norfed uh, coins, Norfed silver, something along those lines, and you will get the whole story. This guy never served any jail time. A lot of people believe that he did, but he didn't. But they did confiscate a whole crap ton of silver from him. But there are still some of these out, and uh, they're awesome to find. They were basically, they the feds got him for, for basically making his own money. Because he did have denominations and dollar amounts and things like that on there. So, also picked up in an LCS run. I'm not going to show you everything I got from the LCS because some of it's already gone. But uh, I did pick up a 2011 Kookaburra, which I did not. Let me rephrase that. I did not have the one ounce in my stack. I do have a 10 ounce 2011 Kookaburra. Uh, but I do did still need a one ounce. So, you know, you can't be mad when you come across one of those that you need in your stack. All right, now let's move on to Wild West Stacker. Here we go. All right. So, Wild West Stacker sent some stuff for the 2K party, which is coming up on December 11th at 3 p.m. And what I'm going to do, since we're adding here, uh, I will also tell you that... Um, Hold on, give me a minute. I'm trying to remember who it was now. Somebody just committed an ounce of silver as a giveaway. And I'm drawing a blank as to who it was. I should have wrote it down. 
But since we're here talking about this, let's make this the official comment video for the stream. So this is gonna be my official comment video. We won't do a whole lot of prizes via comment video, but we will do some. Can I take that off? I can. All right. So this here is a one fourth gram of gold. Wow. And there's the gold right there inside that B. 22 carat, one fourth grain. I'm sorry, not gram, one fourth grain. Comes in the card. It is its own certificate of authenticity. That is pretty awesome. And for those of you that haven't seen Wild West Stacker's amazing bismuth pours, these things are freaking ridiculous. My wife and I both have our own. And we gave away a bunch of these at the double 1K party for both channels when they both hit 1K. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. So Wild West Stackers hooking you guys up. Let's see what else we got here. Oh. Matt, congrats on 2K, bro. Here's a couple prizes to donate to your 2K party. Take care, my friend. Wild West. Wild West has been. Uh, we just we've been kicking it since the very beginning. Not the maybe not the very beginning, but like he started showing up in my chat very soon after I started. Him and his wife. I mean, back all the way back to when we were doing the flutes, y'all. Like I think that's when I lost his wife. Uh, as a regular is when I had to get rid of the flutes because all my videos were getting confiscated. Not that it matters because y'all know the story, but, uh, she used to hang out and watch all the time too, because she could listen to the flutes and paint and, uh, do all that stuff. For those of you that don't know, his wife is an amazing, amazing artist. Um, some people in this world get lucky enough to marry up while West Stacker, definitely one of those guys, me as well. Pretty cool pieces. A little bit of bismuth there. You can't go wrong with that. So these will be available for giveaways. Both of these pieces of gold and this bismuth. So you guys make sure to comment on this video. And make sure to mark your calendar so you can be there when it's time to win some of those prizes. Alright, it looks like I've got a few minutes left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one more thing that I got recently from my good buddy Lee Fleming. This isn't uh, anything crazy, it's just some 40 percenters, but I do need to get it open. And since I have the time, let's just uh, get it knocked out, shall we? He uh, had these up on like a trade day or something like that. I did not uh, buy him for what he was asking, but I did make him an offer. A lot of people, you know, just don't make offers, but you never know unless you ask. And I'm not suggesting you start insulting people, right? Like, sometimes I'll put something online for sale. Um, like, I, I had something listed for seven, seven something, and some guy offered me five something. It's like, dude, if you think I've got $200 wiggle room on this lot of silver, like, I'm clearly, you clearly think I'm making way, way more than I am. But, uh, you know, some people just roll that way. These are some good looking 40 percenters right here. I apologize for the lighting. I usually have my overhead lights. Um, but as you can see, I'm off to the right here because I've got all this set up for, uh, from last night's uh, game day with Everyday Opportunity and then tonight's uh, stream as well. Yeah, some of these are super nice, y'all. Look at that. Wow. Like, that's a dirty one. But it looks like the rest of them are super clean. Now, with 40 percenters, let's be honest, it doesn't matter if they're clean or dirty. But, uh, you know, some people definitely like the cleaner ones better. I tend to uh, like them all. But, you know, that's just me. That's just how I roll. 
And uh, let's crack open this next one here. These will not be going in my stack, although I did get them at such a good price, I probably should. But I also know that I'll find all the 40 percenters I'll ever need uh, to put in my stack. So I really shouldn't be buying any more to keep. I should only be buying them to flip. And again, look how beautiful in BU most of these are. It looks like they might be all 67s. I think they are. No, well, there's a 69. Majority of them are 67, so, which is cool. I find that uh, 67 and 68 are the most popular years that I find coin roll hunting. Um, 65 and 66 and 69 are definitely seem to be less. Uh, I don't know if they minted less. I've never really looked that up, but I definitely seem to find less, if that makes sense. So. But that's all good. It is what it is. So these 40 percenters will be up for sale. Probably somewhere just over spot here soon. Because I think I bought them right at spot or right under. So I won't mark them up too much. But just enough to make a couple bucks. Lee Fleming, appreciate it. Appreciate the sale, brother. Uh, that'll make a good flip. Or y'all actually know how it is. Sometimes I end up just... Uh, keeping them but these and these are all going in my stack and you know once they go in my stack they never go back y'all make sure to go hang out with everyday opportunity today at three o'clock for trade day uh lots of good sales going on over there that's where i got those 40 percenters i'm pretty sure so uh you never know go have a good time make some good deals buy sell trade wild west stacker thanks so much y'all make sure to hit this video up as a comment video for the 2k stream all right. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Up next, we've got Pistol Packing Pilot. I think I could be wrong. I'm not sure what order we're in. But anyways, the link will be in the chat below. Make sure to hit the like. Please subscribe if you're not already. I really appreciate it. Love to grow this channel. Not for any monetary reasons because I can't get monetized, but just for the sake of talking to more folks. Love each and every one of you. and Do not worry about fitting in this community because we are all mad here.